All right, guys, I have good news. My piggy wasn't lost. We just found him at the neighbor's house. Let me explain. If you saw my last video here, this little piggy went to market and lost his way. He didn't lose his way. He just ended up in a different spot than I thought he was going to. So in this last video, what I was right, guys, attempting to do well. was deposit into an untime lock stake. This one down here, number seven, was untime locked. It happens to be the largest stake that I have that's not time locked. So what I wanted to do was compile all my other uh, non-time locked ones into that one and keep growing that one. So over time, what I'll do is I'll claim from those and I'll stuff it into my largest one. That way I don't have to, you know, recompound those individual piggy banks over and over again when I could just do one and it would take care of all of it. So it'll save me time and it'll save me from having like a hundred different stakes. So my intention was to take my biggest one, number seven, and dump some new LPs in there. And then as I start to compound these other unlocked ones, I'll just stuff it in there and make it work. Let that thing grow and then cash out later. So in this video, what I did is I clicked on deposit. I put one LP in there just to try it. I clicked on deposit and I tried to add it to stake number seven. And what happened was you'll see you got 20,098 in there. I added it in about this point in the video and it never updated the amount of piglets I had in there. So the LP was gone, but that wasn't in there. And the answer is this. Shout out to Pat Spohl for coming through with the answer here. He says it goes into your last stake, number 10 in your case. It goes from 1719 to 4746 when you refresh the page and you can see it at 132. So this is how it works. When you deposit into an untime lock stake, it's automatically just gonna default to the last one. So whether you were trying to put it in seven or six or five or eight, the system apparently doesn't care and just stuffs it down here in the last one you have on the list. So in between these two time frames, I updated and refreshed the page. And as you can see, this balance increased significantly, but nothing happened to this one. So just know that if you're gonna continue depositing into additional stakes to try and grow them, it's not gonna go into the stake you want it to, it's gonna to go to the final one on there. And here's what I like about it and here's what I don't. These are all my stakes right here. Um, the nice thing is, and kind of the thing I didn't know about, when you guys join my team and I get my small referral bonus, it goes into my zero stake, no matter what. The only uh, issue with that is that I time locked this thing for a long time. So I've still got 244 days of uh, compounding this thing until I can actually take anything out. So all of the piggy bank referral bonuses or, or um, airdrops that I'm giving you guys are just coming out of my own wallet. I go purchase them and then I send them to you guys because obviously I can't take it out of right here. So that's not a huge deal because I would probably be DCAing and putting additional capital in anyway. So it's not much of a downside for me to have to compound this thing forever and end up with a fat check at the end. That's when I'm getting referral bonuses. The problem is, is when I get an airdrop, it's gonna start a new stake. So this stake, I actually think this original stake was an airdrop from the buddy code that I used and it was very tiny, which is not a big deal, I appreciate it. Basically when I deposit it into this one, it's just gonna go into the new smallest stake. So that wouldn't be an issue if I never got any airdrops. If I didn't get any airdrops, it wouldn't be a big deal because I would be at this number nine. I would just keep loading everything into that. Problem is I want airdrops. I'm hoping that the people I work with in the system or have used their referral code or whatever, airdrop me pigs or piglets rather, right? I hope Stun and Breezy sends me a thousand of them. The problem is when they do that, it's gonna create a new line item. And then every time I'm trying to compound, it's just gonna keep stuffing them down there. So what that does is just defeats the purpose of me trying to slim these down and only have a couple because every time I get a new uh, new airdrop and then I try to go deposit again, it's really just gonna be going down to that next one in line. What I'm trying to do is avoid having a million of these things. And I know there's probably gonna be a solve that Forex will come out with at some point, right? Most important things we get the farms up, but that would be my criticism with how this system works. I don't wanna keep adding stakes on. I wanna take these and compile them and have one big fat one and then all the ones that I have time locked. So. Anyway, crisis averted. Pigs LP did get applied, just went to a different spot. See you guys later.